When you think of Penticton, you probably reminisce about a city between two lakes in the middle of wine country. Beautiful beaches, water sports, outdoor adventure, with world-class rock climbing and cycling. A true four seasons paradise. Plus renowned for being the host community for so many festivals and events. Yet you undoubtedly will also reminisce about its rich hockey history. From the 1955 World Champion V's. The Okanagan Hockey School being the longest continuously running hockey school in the world the BC Hockey Hall of Fame. And having one of this country's most storied junior hockey franchises. In this series, we will look at Penticton V's past, present, and into the future and go behind the scenes as the current BCHL champions fight to defend their title. This one's for you, Penn Six, and the V's are 2022 Fred Page Cup champions! On the road. And in the locker room. what billet life is like, game day production and broadcast, the BCHL All-Star Game festivities, and of course, the playoffs. This and much, much more. These Nation, making hockey history. Today, we will take a road trip and see what happens. You know, going the road, uh... It's, uh, it's, a, it's a different routine uh, for, for everyone and, uh, you know, uh, it's unusual. You don't really have, uh, you know, you, uh, time to nap and, uh, you know, get yourself prepared. But I think, uh, you know, you just get on the bus and uh, once you get to the rink, it's, it's game time. Today, we follow the Junior A Penticton Vs as they go on the road to Trail BC to face the Smoke Eaters in Game 3, the first round of the BCHL 2022-2023 playoffs. As the players embark off the bus, they start to get ready for the big game. Chilling in their dressing room. Taping their sticks. Some stretches. Sewer ball. And then get ready for team meeting two hours before game time. little details. We know structurally what we want to do, how we want to play. So obviously F3 above, we know that. Okay, one thing about, we talked to Luca about today with the way the stanchions are here. Anything up on the glass, he's letting go. So be aware of it. We know the tight corners and the, you know, as far as how pucks are coming off. So we know that, okay, we're ahead of that. Make sure we're communicating, okay? Every period, four or fives, that's it. That's all we're worrying about. Each five minute segment, we get to the next one. We know how we have to play, okay? We manage the momentum. We know they're gonna come out swinging. This is their, hey, here it is. Now they're coming home. 
They're, they're down to, they're gonna come racing out of the gate. So we have to match that intensity right away, okay? And then just keep it to the next, next five, next five, next five. Connect it in our own end, okay? We've talked about what we have to do in our D zone to be a little better. Just being connected, communicate again is important. Use our head to save our feet, right? Okay, it's not about racing all over the place. We know the areas of the ice we need to be in. Then we'll get our transition game going from then. And then that's the big thing in the neutral zone. We can't be standing still in the neutral zone. We gotta move our feet. We gotta push the pace. We gotta get pucks behind them, okay? Don't play in front of them, okay? And then ozone, we want shot volume, but at the same time, we gotta limit our one and dones. We gotta be smart with what we're doing here. Good structure, be above pucks. We lose it, get back above it, okay? All those sorts of things. But be patient, like I said, no wish plays. Be patient with our offense, and then obviously we have to outwork them. Second, third opportunity efforts all over the ice, okay? All three zones, on special teams, same thing. Face-offs, ready to go, okay? We talk about enjoying a moment, okay? We've earned, I'm sure if I asked you guys here, you probably have a lot of guys, buddies of, of yours that are done playing for the season. Okay, their hockey year is done. You've earned the right to play in April, and, and if we keep doing what we want to do, or what we should be doing, we should be earning the right in May. Okay, now we got to find that that sort of that that middle ground of being too loose, but definitely not too tight. Okay, and part of it is we got to enjoy this moment, and there's nothing better when you get these kind of moments when you get to enjoy it with people you care about. We all care about each other, don't we? Damn right we do. Okay, so tonight, I want us to play, hey, not too loose, not too tight. Let's enjoy the moment. Let's have one tonight. Let's go. <laughs> Fraser Rogers records some interviews for the game's broadcast with Coach Harbinson and assistant captain Spencer Smith. Time for warm-up. Then the starting lineup and a quick pep talk from head coach Fred Harbinson. Okay, let's get her going right away here. Let's not wait, let's play the right way right from the start. We'll go with Bradley, Tanner, Josh, Bruni, Frankie, Luca, you're next. Oh! It is always a nervous and exciting time just before the game starts and the national anthem is sung. Penticton would strike first with a goal from Thomas Pichette, from Nick DeGraves and Captain Frank Jurisavage. Yeah! See how he snapped the puck here? The V's would continue to pressure and three minutes after the first goal, they would score again, with Idar Suniev etching the marker from Brad Moravec and Nick to Graves. Trail would come close and hit Iron, a goaltender's best friend. And friends are hard to come by in enemy territory. Fraser Rogers calls the game from the gondola, alongside assistant coach Matt Miller, who clips game footage for the coaching staff to review. Penn Sicton would end the first period leading 2 0. Okay, really good, eh? Enjoyed. We were enjoying that one. Okay, we were playing the right way right from the beginning. <clears throat> our, uh, started with our own end. Like I said, we're much more, uh, much more talk in our own end. One thing to remember half wall battles don't, our, our weak side winger can't overcommit. Okay, don't slide over so far. Okay, make sure you're, you see where that weak side D is and you have to, you have to honor that a little bit, okay? Neutral zone, outstanding. Okay, really good. Okay, good pace when we had it. Without it, we were in, right in the right spots. Made them unload the puck a lot, way more before they wanted it. Uh, before they wanted to, they wanted to carry it. They didn't. We didn't. They didn't have room for it. Okay, ozone. We play in their their end. We we're going to the net as hard as we've gone to the net all year. Okay, keep that going. Work on the next five here now. Let's go. Come on. As expected, Trail would start the second period with some strong offensive rushes, only to have Luca DePasquo come up big with some timely saves, which rallies the bench. Oh, you're 
eyes on the ice. Oh, God, he jumped out, broke up the rush. Bradley Nadeau would notch Penticton's third goal with a beautiful passing play from Idar Suniev and Ryan Hopkins. Much to the disappointment of the trail faithful. The V's would keep pressing with Bradley Nadeau also ringing the iron. Behind him. One final push before the mid-period TV timeout. Outstanding, good sticks in the B zone. Make sure when we get those type of moments where we're going in the O zone, don't make sure we have discipline F3 and no wish plays. They make the solid ones. You're making them right now. They will get the next one. Keep, keep the game in front of us here. Okay, keep the game in front of us. Trail would finally get on the scoreboard with a goal mouse scramble to bring some life and hope for the Trail fans. Penticton would respond quickly. Next shift. Yeah, that's the response. That's the response. Right Thomas there. Pichette would notch his second of the night from Callum Arnott and Frank Jurasevich. Trail kept on buzzing with Brady Hunter firing past a screened Luca DePasco, bringing Trail within two goals after two periods of play. No need to be quiet in here. That was a great period of hockey, boys. Great period of hockey. Unfortunately, we gave one up at the end there. That could happen. So that's, that's, that's the game. Hey, you keep playing like the way we are. Again, understand different moments of the game, what we have to do. Okay, we don't need to, you know, don't need to make some special play out of nothing, right? Just keep playing the right way. Keep game, the game in front of us. You know they're probably gonna try to stretch behind us. We gotta be aware, we gotta be talking, okay? When we have to play minutes in our end, we have to be tight. Okay, tight, good sticks, you know, good clears, okay, good, good communication. Offensive zone, like I told you at the timeout out there, we start getting our cycle game going, don't wish it. Okay, just keep making solid plays. Keep hitting that net. Okay, we're gonna be, uh, Dar will be out for the next 10, so we'll have to mix and match a little bit there, but we have to be aware of it, okay? That's good line changes. They get the next one, nothing changes, guys. Okay, we got, hey, we've been in this situation with leads before going to the third. Third is when we can put our foot on people's necks. Let's go, come on, here we go. One more period to go in game three, the first round of the playoffs, and the V's can taste it. A quick goal, one minute, 10 seconds in from Captain Frank Jurcevich, would silence the crowd. Tegan Kendrick did his best to make some big saves to help keep trail in the game. But Penticton would keep on pressing with Brett Morvek making a perfect deflection from a Nick DeGraves pass. It was all smiles on the bench. It wouldn't be playoffs without some emotions. Hey, listen. Again, let's go back. Let's go back to our game management right now. Straight ahead plays. We don't need any. No soft lateral plays. That's opening yourselves up. Good shielding coming back into our zone. Stay out of the. The final timeout pep talk would help motivate number eight Thomas Pachette to get his third goal of the night to ice the game away. The game would end up Penticton v7, Trail Smoke Eaters 2, in front of 1,324 fans on a Tuesday night in early April. Penticton is now one game closer to winning their first round playoff series.
Outstanding, outstanding. You know what? You, in a series, you, you want to just keep climbing. That was definitely our best all-round performance from start to finish, boys. Good job tonight, okay? Really good. Okay. So now you got them in a hole. We said the series doesn't start till you win one on the road. Well, we just did it. Now we're gonna close them out tomorrow night, okay? Make sure tonight when you go to sleep, all we're thinking about, you gotta get, get your rest tomorrow. Not about taking, again, not taking it too light, not being too tight, right? Okay, right in that middle, middle ground. And that's where we're gonna sit. We were outstanding tonight. Who's got the belt? Get your get your cool down in. Yeah, get your cool down. Get some. And that is what a typical road trip looks like.